हरि ओम हम ऑडिबल थैंक यू इट्स ऑलवेज एन ऑनर टू कम टू अपना घर बिकॉज एम ऑल द इंट्रोडक्शन आई थिंक वन थिंग विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई एम ए चिन्मय प्रोडक्ट चिन्मय मिशन राइट फ्रॉम चाइल्डहुड ने बीन ए बाल वी आर चाइल्ड बीन ए बाल वी आर सेवक चिक चिक सेवक मैरिड इन टू चिन्मय मिशन both side of parents my in laws and my own parents from jinmya mission children from jinmya mission ghar pe jhagda bhi vedant so the whole idea is that being part of jinmya mission and what i am trying to showcase is what gurudev said you know we have to take our shastras to solve the modern generation problems and let me also tell you kolkata is a very important place in my heart because I don't remember the year. It was 1991 or 92. We had the All India Chick Conference, Office Bearers Conference, Gurudev 93, and uh, Gurudev himself was here. And as Chicksters, you know, we, I represented a small center in Mumbai called as Mulund, and we had to present and learn from others. And after the conference, we used to go out for puchkas. <laughs> so a lot of memories in Kolkata. and therefore i say you know coming back to a place where we worked with gurudev and thought about how to take indian wisdom and also we got lot of bashings from him <laughs> i still remember you know when we were making our presentations gurudev at the end of it you know very nicely concluded saying that please remember chinmay yuva kendra without a mission is only remove ch yak <laughs> so thank you so much but before i start I just want to ask how many of you are here pure academicians I mean by profession may you're teaching in a school or a college or a university the remaining welcome to the club <laughs> I'll tell the reason why I like to quote again Gurudev over here everybody in India is a teacher today when we say that you are in an academic world it's only a formal part of it but I learned from the best academicians and the best teachers were not academicians And therefore, what I'm going to present is actually something which I've done in my life. करना चाहिए नहीं कर चुका। So there's a saying in about money, Artha Shastra. <laughs> Two problems with money: when you don't have money, and when you have so much money, you don't know what to do. <laughs> so, so let me start. Yeah, if somebody can help you with the presentation, thank you. Reluctant, and suddenly, so one hour I have to speak. My goodness. I was requesting Neeraj ji, can I cut down my time? If I can finish up everything in 15 minutes, but I'll try to extend it to half an hour so that we can cover up the lost time. And of course, I have to listen to the other speakers. What I, yeah, of course, will include question answer. You have to tell me when to stop. So what I will try and do is that this is the topic which has been given. Artha Shastra and Chanakya's relevance to present day management and inclusion in modern day education. As I told you, it's done. करना चाहिए हो चुका है एंड वॉट आई डू नो सॉरी जस्ट टेल यू द प्रोसेस फॉर द पीपल हु आर नॉट इन एजुकेशन हाउ टू बिकम अ फॉर्मल टीचर रेडी सी द लार्ज क्राउड हुआ इन टू अकेडमिक्स एंड नॉन अकेडमिक्स बिलीव मी इट वॉट्स हैपनिंग राइट नाउ विथ एन ई पी नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी वी रिक्वायर मोर गुड टीचर्स but teaching as a concept is going to change in a very big way very big way you know our shastra starts with mata then pita then acharya matru devo pitru devo acharya devo these are upanishadic concepts so if you feel that you not a teacher you are wrong in fact the joke goes in india everybody is a teacher and a doctor bina puche dawai de denge garam pani pee lo all dadi ma ka nuskas are coming back If you want to be a formal teacher, it's a choice. If you don't want to be a formal teacher, still you are a teacher. <laughs> But that's the process. How I got into academia in such a big way, it's a different problem. Okay, so the process I'll tell you. So make note of this so that it can help you and the country and the world. So, whatever subject, choose a subject. Today is a world of specialization. Do you know? So today, if you go, what are you doing? I'm a lawyer. Happy. <laughs> I'm exploring. Bhaap re, better get married. <laughs> We don't like this concept called exploration, and in the Western world there's a concept called sabbatical, and many people don't know sabbatical actually is not a break; it's a spiritual break. 
Sabbath is a Jewish word. And from time to time, if you're doing something very rigorously, you require a break. You go back for a spiritual retreat and come back and become better. But unfortunately, today, you know, if you're not doing anything one after other, after 10th, you have to do 12th, right? After 12th, you better be a graduate. And by the way, a graduate is a big thing in the globe. And in India, everybody is a graduate. <laughs> we don't have value. After graduation, oh, masters. After that, okay, marriage. It doesn't stop there, you know, right? What about parenting? It goes on and on. But I'll tell you something. Please take a break formally, informally, or during your regular life to study a subject that is close to your heart. And we just saw, you know, so many subjects in IK, send in all system. It could be music, it could be medicine, it could be anything that you like. I chose Artha Shastra. <laughs> because I realized one thing when I got into business, thanks to Puja Guruji, Swami Tejivanji, he made me a businessman. I don't know from how. But I say, if I want to be doing something, I better be the best. And it so happened that we were studying about why India was the richest country in the world. You know, everybody talks about it. But I said, no, no, there should be something which we need to discover. And while studying, studying, and thanks, we had the Chinmaya Mission background of studying Shastras, be it Bhagavad Gita or Upanishads. But I said, no, 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 there could be something more deeper and specific, only talking about Artha Vyavastha. And I came across Kautilya's Artha Shastra. And I'll tell you, I train businessmen. I've created so many students, especially startups who have become unicorns. So it's not that dead old formula, Shayad, Bharat, Mahan, Hoga. No. The reality is that we have formulas. I studied that in detail. So if you want to choose any subject, it could be arts, like music, instruments. We've got a lot of literature ready. Vimana Shastra. And today, Chandrayaan, we are talking about Indian oil system there also. In fact, if you talk to Mishra sir also, he's talking about artificial intelligence and robotics from Indian scriptures. Huh? I was like, you know, sir, please explain. The only problem I said is if you want funding, I'll give you. <laughs> Arte Shastra. So why am I telling you all these things, friends? Is that you decide your field as per your liking and if possible, your Swadharma. You don't have to only look at what the other person is doing. But I have rejected many students who wanted to do PhD and MBA because I realized one thing. They want to do it for a degree's sake, for a job's sake. Please understand this formula of Swadharma is that what you like, what you're good at and what is a natural talent for you. In fact, my astrologer told me that I'm a natural researcher, writer and speaker. Which field you decide? I chose Artha Shastra. <laughs> but it doesn't stop there. It begins from there. I went to Kerala. I went to a SIF where we have Adi Shankaracharya's birthplace where we have CVB also. And I, you'll be surprised the study was not just reading books. Please understand the difference between reading books and studying a book. That's why in Chinmaya Mission we have study class, right? It is not just about listening or just reading. We are debating, discussing, agreeing, disagreeing, but finally you are convinced in your own way. So I remember I had to, I had read a lot of books on Chanakya, let me tell you. But I realized one thing that you know, you don't understand it till you have a Samvada. Bhagavad Gita, please understand Arjuna was already the best warrior. He had studied Sankhya Yoga before. It's not that he doesn't know. Isn't it true? But it still requires a conversation in the battlefield. I realized one thing, okay, both are Artha Shastra. If you come to my house, at least 7,000 books. Yeah, yeah, and 700 books on Janakya. <laughs> 10%. But let me tell you, reading doesn't make you an expert of the field. It can make you gather more information. And thanks to Google and WhatsApp. I remember we were on a Kailash Yatra, Swami Ishwaranji. We had gone with a group of doctors and I don't know, Maybe blessings of Shivji. And I told Ishwaranji at that particular time that you know Swami have to study the Kautilya Artha Shastra. <laughs> Go home and speak to Swami Advainanji. With the Acharya resident at uh, you know Sif. I called him up and said, Swamiji, I have to study Kautilya Artha Shastra in detail. You know what he told me? Not Kautilya, Kautilya. <laughs> Every expert was once a beginner. <laughs> he said, You have to come here. And he appointed a scholar, Dr. Gangadhar Nair, who is part of his CVV also. And you have to come down. First of all, he was surprised. Somebody from Bombay has to come to Kerala in a small village. You know, the pattern is the villagers come to cities, cities people go abroad for research. Nothing wrong in going abroad, depending on what your subject is. If you want to do underwater water robotics, please go abroad and study what Mistraj is also working on. 
So I realized my subject is something that an expert will only give me in a Gurukul system. And I was later on surprised, one teacher, one student. This is Gurukul. I studied there all the 6,000 sutras, I came back, got more interested, clarity. And then of course, I went on to do MA in Sanskrit, PhD, etc, etc. Why am I telling you this? You know, friends, this is a story which started almost 20, 25 years ago. But please study your own subject. You decide. You know, Vedanta, of course, is the pinnacle. But if you want to look at any subject, it could be architecture. It could be cosmology, astrology. I don't know. I mean, that choice is yours. But the good part is that everything is documented for the next generations. Next, look and look and it's not and look around for modern day problems and solutions look around look at any problem that you find and try to look at a solution through indian scriptures like for me the problem was india may everybody is a job seeker true or no here we have this whole culture where people are only studying for education and education actually has become an examination system you should go to, you know, uh, states like Bihar. I was surprised. I was at the Patli Putra, Putra University and I was driving from the airport till the university. Not a single road in Patna that I saw was having, I mean, without a board of an education institution, coaching class. <laughs> so all talking about, you know, clearing IIT, GE, getting into the IPS, IAS civil services. I am saying I am coming to the knowledge capital of this country where Chanakya worked. Think about this. We were the richest part of the world and that started from Patliputra then. And today modern day Patna is creating job seekers. Nothing wrong. They require people to work in job also. But where are the wealth creators? So I found this problem and I made some samples. I am going to show you a sample also. So you know that it's not just about an idea. It's a process also. Then apply. After you found from your research something, even in the scientific world, there is something called as testing, right? You test with a few people and then if it is workable and then you make it bigger. In fact, the first formula I tested on myself. <laughs> the guinea pig is Radha Krishna Pillai himself. So build case studies around it. Then you test on others. I tested with my friends. In fact, I've been very fortunate to turn a lot of my childhood friends to entrepreneurs. And now I'm creating part of this movement called Startup India in a big way. So the idea is that you tested yourself. Does the Shastras work? Or is it only glorification of the past? No, it works even today. But you have to apply it first. And then if it works, I always say, you know, textualize it. Sorry. Textualize it and document it for others. The Rishis did that, right? If you have not documented it, you have forgotten it yourself. So today we have so much literature available. In fact, the government of India has got a very fantastic project. It is about digitalizing our whole manuscripts. So please Google about it. We have got more than one crore books of Indian literature still available. Imagine that's the kind. No other country has got so much records. My wife is doing her PhD on temple architecture. And she was telling me, like, you know, she keeps reading the Chinese so-called traditional systems actually comes from Indian text. What we call Ayurveda over here. So they've taken a lot of stuff to China and of course modernized it and localized it for their requirement. And why am I telling you all these things is first learn the text, understand it and then make a text out of yourself. So Patanjali co codified it. Chanakya codified it. But let me tell you, Chanakya was not the first economist. I used to have this, you know, Artha Shastra. But let me clarify it, it's Kautilya's Artha Shastra. Before Kautilya, there are 14 other scholars he talks about. And by the way, many other scholars of Artha Shastra after, after Kautilya also. So be a student, but be a better teacher <laughs> after studying. And then of course, very, very important that if you have understood, document it and share it. And this is what I started doing, writing books, etc. We have done it in various, so let me tell you, Artha Shastra is modern education, we have done it in various schools, colleges and universities. That's what, you know, if anybody is wanting to know how to do it in schools, maybe I'll tell you later on. I have trained more than 1000 principals of Kendra Vidyalayas and all. Think about it. And this is all before NEP. 
एटलीस्ट नाउ ऐसे कहते ना देर इज अ गुड इको सिस्टम बट दिस वॉज अ टाइम वेन नथिंग वॉज द बट यू नो वी शर्ट डूइंग फॉर स्कूल्स कॉलेजेस यूनिवर्सिटीज देन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अनदर लाइन मिलिट्री एक्चुअली द मिलिट्री ऑफ द डिफेंस एनी बडी फ्रॉम मिलिट्री बैकग्राउंड your parents or anybody so you'll be surprised they are a gated community a lot of military army navy air force backgrounds cantonment you can't enter there right and many people don't know they also have their own training institutions within just like a very you know civil versus defense i've been fortunate to teach arthashastra not only by glorification but how do you apply it in the battlefield we learn that in bhagavad gita right the warrior but how to attack in fact i have students who are doing phd on arthashastra now people who work in the prime minister's office and many other places the idea of telling is that indian foreign policy we've been working on that so one is the academia world which is popular then we are working in the military world so people who are actually rocket scientists to the who uh, students who are teachers of you know uh, i would say pilots and lot of things so we have got arthashastra there of course the corporate the books are famous अरे सही नहीं इंडिया में पैसे का प्रॉब्लम है ही नहीं गेट मी अ गुड रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट आई विल फंड यू मैंने आई विल फंड यू माई फ्रेंड्स विल फंड यू एंड थैंक्स टू द बुक कॉर्पोरेट चाणक्य इज डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड देन ऑफ कोर्स गवर्नमेंट बिलीव मी इफ यू आर वर्किंग विद एनी गवर्नमेंट प्रोजेक्ट आई एम नॉट ओनली टेलिंग यू वेन ए गवर्नमेंट आई एम नॉट ओनली नॉट ओनली टेलिंग यू अबाउट यू नो द डेली गवर्नमेंट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफिस नो आई एम टॉकउट ए लोकल पॉलिटिशियन वॉन्ट्स टू बी मे बी एन एम एल ए there are so much projects they have we tried some of this principles of arthashastra in a small town in hubli and there was no involvement of the central okay or the state but i live in a very small suburb in mumbai called as molund i work with the local politicians over there and say apply these principles it works and unfortunately in india politicians means <laughs> not a very positive attitude right but chanakya was a rajguru so we have applied those principles for local politicians and surprisingly this i would say prasad i train spiritual organizations i learn from chinmay mission i teach everywhere i got my biggest surprise when some of the big senior monks from other spiritual organizations started calling me and said can you train our future monks i said what so that's not the place i teach but surprisingly so many global organizations i've been training you know priests in countries like london iskon ramkrishna mission they are great organization swami narayan sampradaya why am i telling that brahma kumari is why am i telling you is that for me it started with this process so study and then you go to the next level and i will tell you how and of course very important and this is my biggest i would say achievement again guru kripa you know finally i got an opportunity 7 years ago to start a full institution on chanakya's teachings remember the, this era is 2000 before 2014 na huh? Chanakya International Institute of Leadership Studies at the University of Mumbai. So it started as like an idea, but it's become so big that today we are able to take it globally. So what I'm trying to do is actually help you, and of course, finding the books and publication. Twenty-two books done. Okay, corporate Chanakya to children's book called Chatur Chanakya. So all these books are there, and just for you to you know just glance through. It's not a sales pitch here. This is what a book can do, and this is my twenty-second book, just released on fifth of September. Even though on Chanakya, even though on Chanakya, you'll be surprised. Not a single book of mine, twenty-two books are repeat. Same Chanakya, so many dimensions. So when you are an Ayurvedic, let's say a doctor or a Vaidya or a practitioner, let me tell you, all patients are different, isn't it true? So you gather so much wisdom. In fact, I'll tell you. I'm doing a study on Indian economic model. Every village in India had a vaidya, true. But something very important that vaidya was not for human beings alone. Today it's a specialization, right? In that generation, human beings and animals and plants had a common vaidya. In today's generation, of specialization. And Guruji Tejuban just says a joke. Who's a specialist? who knows more and more about less and less <laughs> so one day one person went to a family doctor i don't i'm not sure in bombay that culture is over so you know family doctor is the one who could just look at you and tell okay no problem 
हो गया श्रद्धा वन लभते ज्ञानम द सेम वे श्रद्धा इन द डॉक्टर ओनली गिव्स यू दैट फ्रीडम बट टूडे इज अ जनरेशन ऑफ स्पेशलाइजेशन एंड आई ऑलवेज इट्स अ जनरेशन ऑफ प्रिस्क्रिप्शन सो डू नॉट इवन टच यू डू नॉट लुक एट योर चैट टेल मी वेयर इज योर फाइल गो होम एंड ब्रिंग इट आई एम हियर आई एम हियर लुक एट मी नो फाइल की तरह so look at a generation where you go to a doctor and he says okay what's your problem i have a ear pain sorry i'm not a ent specialist <laughs> go to ent specialist and like, where is the pain ear i am an ent specialist but not of the ear i am for the nose <laughs> you go to a t specialist e specialist and like, where is the pain like, the inside oh, sorry i you know i am an outside ear specialist <laughs> Why am I? You know, the joke is that you can go and look at your knowledge in various applications, and I always say, if you look at uh, you know maybe Ramayana, it appeals to a small child also, and to a great scholar also, right? Maybe one part of Ramayana could be more inspiring for the child because of the Hanuman flying, but there's Tattva Gyan also there. So Indian all systems is not just about one system, one knowledge. It is multidisciplinary and beyond. So with that, what I'll do is that I'll give a presentation in the next ten minutes of what I did. So this is something which I use in schools. So many people say, "Yeah, we'll study. How can we make something? Make a PPT. Make it." And by the way, you'll get a lot of invitations if you're good at a subject. Get certified from CBV. Go and attend a course. I'm sure there are so many good systems available now. So this one thing we do. Okay, I have to first introduce Chanakya. At least in India, we know who is Chanakya, right? But many countries say I go abroad, they don't even know, and I say that's an opportunity. <laughs> so who was he? We just go to the history a little bit to get them excited. He lived in the fourth century BC, and I take this storytelling style. Vishnu Gupta, who was he? Go and show some videos. Many people don't know how to create content, and the academic world content creation is very important. Systematic content creation today, it's not just textbooks; it's beyond textbooks, videos also. I have a lot of videos. Kautilya. Then you go into telling them about Gotra systems. So build in stories. There's one school of thought that believes that Kautilya is not just Kuta Niti, but it's also the name of a Purvaj or a Rishi Gotra of Chanakya. So you can introduce that also while telling. Of course, Chanakya's father was Chanak, etc. And here is history is another part of it. You tell a little bit of a storytelling. Take an oath to pull the Nanda dynasty. Chandragupta Maurya's king maker. responsible for the defeat of alexander in india ashoka india's first global emperor then comes the academic part slowly stories attract you academics keep you <laughs> so if you want to start don't start with no tattva gyan directly dheere dheere but they will have to finally come to tattva gyan so i said okay now let me talk about artha shastra which is the main topic and chanakya niti so he also documented what is artha shastra Known as a book of economic, statecraft, punishment, warfare, strategy, and of course written in Sanskrit, six thousand sutras, fifteen books, one fifty chapters, one eighty sections, and these fifteen books are classified into five parts. This is what I did my research in CIF. It's a book of management and leadership. My contribution last twenty two years, what I've been doing is to make Arthur Shah's the book of management and leadership. Otherwise, economics, politics. Now I said, let me give you a new dimension. and then broadly speaking people don't have time to study all the 6000 sutras you give them capsules so you talk about fundamentals of leadership economics law foreign policies war if you study all these five subjects given artha shastra you actually think like a leader of course it's a transdisciplinary and multidisciplinary book describes specialized sciences like gemology ayurveda architecture now when i get invited by let's say the gemology or gemologist I give a special lecture of Artha Shastra and Gemology. If somebody invites me and says, "Okay, can you give a lecture on Ayurveda?" I say, "I'm not a specialist of Ayurveda, but I can give you some solutions from Ayurveda." So you know, all this is creativity that comes in. But what is very important is that it's a book that has survived the test of time, two thousand four hundred years ago, and it still is relevant because it deals with something which doesn't change with time. Nitya Nuta Na, always. you know new and relevant what is that the human mind it doesn't change i remember in the initial stage a lot of media used to ask me do you think artha shastra is relevant today i said yes and no and that's a very safe way of answering why yes because the principles don't change 
No, because the tools and technique changes. Is it true? So you have to adapt. But the human mind is the same. If you know how to deal with the human beings, you actually have to deal with the human mind first. So Chanakya understood human beings and applied in the society. I remember before I went to Kerala to study the Artha Shastra, I went to Guruji Tejumanji. I took his blessings and I am going to study the Artha Shastra. You know what he told me? I'll use the word in Hindi because that's the way he told me. Artha Shastra samajne se pehle samaj shastra samjo. It was such a deep thing. If you want to study economics, first understand society's behavior. That's why even the academic world is called socio-economics. It is not called eco-socio. Right? So economics comes later, society comes first. And all businessmen who are successful have seen that small or big business, they understand what the customer wants. Isn't it true? And in India, we've got a fantastic model. We can never as a country go bankrupt because we have a festival economy. <laughs> Today, right now, it's Maharashtra. Ganpati, right? Durga Puja, but tell me one person who will not be in business. In fact, I know businesses for that one week, they produce for the whole year. Because we have a model. In India, you can never go hungry. You can never be poor. Poverty is something which is very strange for us. It is a Western concept. You have to make somebody rich in India, we are already rich. So rich that the richest people quit the world. Where are you? <laughs> anyway, so the idea of telling all these things is that, you know, finally you have to work with the human mind. So whether it's astrology, whether it's, you know, Ayurveda, you still have to come back to the human mind. I still remember there was an Ayurveda practitioner in Surat. And a lot of people used to lie him. He was a very, not a very soft-spoken Ayurvedic you know, physician. What he used to do is that he actually used to give galis, literally bad words to everyone. So a lot of people have this, you know, he doesn't know how to treat people. And one person said, he doesn't know how to treat people, but he exactly knows how to treat disease. <laughs> you decide. And you know what he used to do? He had specialized on something, the nervous system through Indian sciences and methods. And I don't know, there's a Sanskrit term somebody told me. So if you go to him, okay, I, uh, they named him some very strange name. <laughs> so, Pada means leg. So, so, somebody comes to this clinic, first of all, everybody is afraid. He look at them, the moment they enter, and they say, sit, stand, turn around, or whatever they should do. So, let's say one person comes in, he looks at him, he is not even started diagnosis. And so, hit him with the leg. Exactly at the point where there is a problem. He needs to walk out or over. <laughs> somebody sits and says, okay, show me your hand. So, diagnosis is done the moment you enter. You don't require reports. In fact, it is said that when a child is born in India, we actually do the Janma Patrika, right? Horoscope. The child's future is decided, the you know, or to be created by the parents. Imagine the system not only after birth. The Western psychology is slowly coming to this point that early education is better. In fact, we believe in the other concept, Purva Janma education is far more better. <laughs> The child could be yoga brashta. You know, went in the path, Bhagavad Gita chapter 6. I did a lot of spiritual exercises, but I could not achieve moksha. No problem. You'll be born in a family. So you know your child is yoga brashta, means it's already evolved spiritually. Maybe this is your last birth. Don't put him into, go and look up at a job. Are bhaiya. <laughs> Coming back, you know, there are a lot of systems you can think about it. The whole idea is that finally, Arthashastra deals with the human mind. Now, coming back to the management, what I did, I looked at the current management curriculum. I did my MBA also. So, these are all the main topics that I talk about. POM, the first subject that you learn in MBA. Principles of management. Then, how management education is done, accounting systems, time management, leadership skills, contracts. Everything is about contract today, isn't it? It's not about connect, it's about contract. Right? And that 24 pages contract, you don't even look at it, you look at the person, sign kar do, huh? Guruji again says, you know, you have to document it. But trust is the most important factor, isn't it? My parents did not have a marriage certificate till they realized they have to make a passport. And it worked. Is marriages and social institutions becoming a contract? We are not denying it, please understand it. So Chanakya spoke about contracts also. It's called Sandhi. The systems of Sandhi, Vigraha. 
I'll not go into that discussion. But we have, because all MBA students have started making contracts. And if you are into that legal field, my goodness, IP, intellectual property. <laughs> Our Rishi said, Leke jao bhaiya. Take it. Anyway, selection of employees. So all these are modern day education problems or you know, thought in MBA institutions. Consulting. Chanakya was a Raj Guru. Isse bada consultant kya chahiye? Krishna was a Raj Guru, isn't it? And by the way, he's also a Raja. Don't think I was just only giving examples and Pravachan in Bhagavad Gita. He was Dwarkadish. My experience is guiding somebody. You know how to fight, why to fight. It's a philosophical counseling along with psychological counseling. Of course, then you have strategic management, handling, competition, etc. So what I'm saying is that look at their problem and give you a solution. Don't look at your solution, or otherwise it will become, you know, pakad pakad ke suna de, bhaiya. What I'm going to do now in the five minutes that I have, I'll explain to you one of the greatest models that were lost to our generation. It's called the Saptanga. And how I applied that in my books, in my colleges and solutions for modern day problems. Saptanga means seven pillars of a kingdom. Chanakya was a Raja Guru. 6,000 I picked up one sutra. Look at the ocean that we have in only, only one book called Arthashastra. Swami Amatya Janapada Durga Kosha Danda Mitrani Prakriteya. Which means, you know, seven things go on to become a kingdom, an organization. Swami, the king. It can be Swamini also. You are in a hurry, feminism. But if you want to talk about feminism, Chanakya will be surprised. The woman is more powerful than the king. That's why you should watch the movie Bahubali. <laughs> I have seen, I hope all of you have seen. I always say, only naam ke liye bahu baliye. Baki everything is controlled by Raja Mata Shiva Gamini. Whether bahu bali should become a king or no, who decides? So, so I will not go into that because a different topic, gender, feminism and all. No. But the idea is that you require a leader, Swami. But can the leader run the country alone? No, Amatya. Minister. Janapada. Haan, Raja hai mantri hai. No praja. Are? Citizens. So we require three Swami Amada Jana Durga infrastructure. Kosha finance. Danda army. Strong army is required. Mitra, your friends, allies. If you have all the seven in place, then start thinking, okay, can we apply it to modern day India? Do you have a Swami? Sure? By the way, you also have a Swamini. We always forget that. The first citizen of this country is the president of India. So, we have a Swamini and of course, we have the PM also is doing it fantastic across the globe. But can he do it alone? For the development of a country, he requires different ministries and departments. So, if everybody is aligned to the Swami's vision, why not? Janapada, we don't have to worry, 140 crore. Already some reports say we are the most populated country. Gurudev, I remember, that was a generation we were talking about population as a problem. Remember that? Today, population is the biggest advantage. And you should always say, you know, that time it was 1 billion people. Well, it is not about 1 billion people. But they used to always tell chicks to us, you know. We have actually 2 billion hands, but we lack one vision. <laughs> Today, it's like 40 crore more people you add into it. Do you have a common vision? No, that's the problem. The citizen should be inspired. In the Maharashtra culture, there was a great leader called Shivaji. There's a beautiful song about him, a folk song. Shur Ami Sardar Amala Kai Kunachi Bhiti. Sardar is leader. We have a great leader. Why should I fear? And they conquered and have a great Maratha empire across India and outside also. Anyway, so you require not citizens but inspired citizens. That's why all movements you know, have to be inspiring for the people also. So we have a lot of projects going on currently also. Swami Amatya. Janapada Durga, infrastructure, a nation also requires infrastructure, right? Ports, roads, highways, and soft infrastructure also. I think this is the biggest tool that we have today for everything. Somebody made a list, 125 things went out after this revolution. Nobody uses clocks anymore. Alarm clock is gone. Camera, Camera gone. So you know, make that typewriter gone. I don't know, computer also may go. Somebody said very nicely, banking system is gone. Banking system is gone. How many people have last gone to the bank? Forget that, your paper notes are gone. 
you go and say okay upi code coming back that's a great thing we are more and by the way let me tell you what we are doing in india we will only value it when you go outside digital is not just about payments it's a great revolution i'll tell you something astrologically just to connect to iks you know when you study the world patterns your own personal life or the global eras there's always a connection so an astrologer was sitting and doing a project he told me you know there are world events acha and he had some numerology background also he is a pandit indian pandit born to a jyotish father but jyotish father sir paisa nahi hai <laughs> he became an mba came back to that field now he is making more money <laughs> so he was telling me something interesting there is something connected with numbers and astrology maybe i am not an astrologer i know chanakya was he told me something do you know what is the importance of the word 911 I don't understand all these things. For me, nine one one is twin towers, right? But everybody forget that also a number that made India globally present. So I'm waking on the speech. Remember that? Yeah. So he told me world events happen on a particular date and time. Then he turned that whole thing. The year 1991 was a world event. 1991. No. Then he started to think about it. How many of you are aware of what is the import of the year 1991? It is one date, but every country in the world had an impact. Tell me, globalization, India globalization. We chose IT to be one of our biggest. China chose industrialization. Did they become number one? Yes, that's accepted. But India chose IT in 1991, and we became number one. Google, Microsoft. Okay, India, China story over. What happened in other parts of the world in 1991? Okay, German. If you follow the history, the Berlin Wall fell same year. Russian coal country got dismantled. Which year? 1991. Soviet Union. I said, how did you know this? The Indian Shastras. <laughs> He made some numerical calculation nine one one something he told I don't know. Now so think about it. We are worried about the future. Please understand Indian knowledge system is not about futurology. It's about going beyond time. But that doesn't mean we don't understand time. Kala samay we have a god who is kala tita. So now every god is kala tita. Omkar exactly. So what I'm saying is that you need to look at the spiritual aspect of it. So coming back to our country, we chose that we will get to infrastructure from 1991. Things are improving. Globalization. Now look at the next one. Uh, it is Kosha. Are we doing well? Fifth largest in the world. So we said, "Are yeah, we, we we compare it to the developed nations, and we feel bad with you know, the potholes. There is corruption. Agreed. But somebody sent a nice video. Who was not an Indian." The Indians are not proud about their economic development. Why? How many countries in the world? How many countries? Maybe some 180, 200. So let's take a base 180. If you are in the top five of the 180, is it bad? Ha! Huh, you can always compare with the top four and feel bad. Somebody said, if you want to become thin, don't join a gym. <laughs> Surround yourself with more fatter people than you. <laughs> So the whole idea is that economically we are doing well. Of course, there is scope for improvement. We are very good, by the way. I have seen a girl who is 21 years old. She is not even completed a graduation. She is making one lakh rupee a month in freelancing. Huh? One West Bengal, one boy. I met him in the Himalayas, some small town. He makes four crore rupees per month. Which generation are we talking about? Because our problem is that we are st still thinking from a generation of scarcity, where we need no food to eat, right? The generation of abundance. So let me tell you, India was the most abundant country. Somebody said when foreigners came to Lutha, say, "Acha, you want? Or do leke ja? <laughs> you want more? Take. It's like you know, guest at home. But finally, they realize this is not a guest. It's Ravana <laughs> coming in the roof of a Rishi. Then we become smart. I mean, how to throw the models? Anyway, so in a country you require good economic structure, kosha, danda. We require good army. Let me tell you, since I work with the army, today army is not limited to wars across the borders. There are three, four wars we are simultaneously fighting. One is the land wars. Second is called space wars. By the way, let's also be ready for cyber wars. 
it's very big. Look at the cyber hackings that happens globally. So what I'm saying, Indian armed forces are not only the best. By the way, by number we are the second largest. More than 12 lakh people are armed forces, but they are now getting intellectually trained. And fortunately, I have a role to play there. <laughs> so we actually, you know, one of the commanding officer told something very nice. Initially, when the Indian armed forces were under the British rule, it was only command and go and die. The very famous saying in the armed forces. Yours is not to question how or why. Yours is either to do or die. Today is an intellectual crowd, they debate, they discuss. Imagine going into the battlefield not with the best weapons, but along with the best minds. And a spiritual feeling ki marengi to be kya. You know, there is another janma also. So Lokaman ne Bal Ganga Dar Tilak when he says, you know, Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it. We look at that as a political statement. It is not. It's a spiritual statement coming from Bhagavad Gita's study. I hope you remember this. That he wrote Gita Rahasya. Unfortunately, not many people are aware of it because it was written in Marathi. By the way, Tilak was a polymath. He was a lawyer, he was an astrologer, he was a statistician. He used to teach grammar in Bombay University. And such a person, so deeply spiritual, could save from his strength. So coming back, all this will happen. But what is, I realize is that our armed forces today are very different from the one we left in 1947. Okay, then the ally. Today for India's foreign policy. So why are we moving on to this world where we are actually going to accept it because we have all the seven things in place. A quick last example. Can we apply it in the corporate world? Can we apply it in educational institution? Yes, Saptanga can be done. This is what I did, you know, interpretation and modification. Swami, let's say you have a company. He is the leader, the chairman, CEO, whatever, right? Then Amatya, he will have managers, HODs, chief marketing officer, chief sales officer, whatever, whatever. Then Janapada, does he require customers? Good company, but no customers. So please tell your children, okay? You have to make business, first get your first customer. <laughs> then Durga, as it grows, you require more and more infrastructure, isn't it? It's always said it's good to start an office at Starbucks. It's very bad to have an office in Starbucks after 25 years. <laughs> so work from home is good for the beginning. So I always say, if you start from Starbucks after 25 years, you should be owning Starbucks. Infrastructure is important in business also. Kosher, of course. We don't have to worry because corporate world is known for only kosher, unfortunately. Danda, support staff. In every big company, there are people who may not be intellectual or like a Swami or Amatya, but they also support systems. Your driver, your pune, your accountant, and Mitra. Today, we address a lot of what is called, you know, vendor management issues. So, if you know vendors are not giving you, how can you produce? So, part of an ecosystem. Can we apply this model in an education institute? Swami or Swamini would be, let's say, a school or a college? Principal. See how we interpret it. Amatya? Teachers. One teacher cannot run the whole school, right? So what Gurudev did? He created more acharyas. Correct? Right? He was there. Today it's an institution. True or no? And every acharya will create more sevaks. He can't take all the class. What a system. Okay, so in a school you have a principal who was once a teacher. Unfortunately, after you become a principal, you don't teach. And you think administration are you know, Gurudev was administrating the whole world Chinmaya Mission globally in 30 countries. But remember one thing, one class a day, till the last day. So don't give excuses, time management. Purpose-driven time management is different from, you know, money-driven time management. <laughs> so now look at, let's say, school. We have the principal, the Amatya, Janapada for a school, students. Durga. Unfortunately, today all the parents get carried away. Oh, the glamour of the infrastructure. It is not the glamour, it is the love of the teacher for the students. That's why Shantin Riketan still works. True or no? Kosher? Yeah. But let me tell you, it's finance, not fees. Be so called educated. By the way, there are still government grants and sponsorships available. Funding has to be taken care, no doubt, because money is a requirement, Artha Shastra. But why only fees? A lot of people in this country do, cannot afford fees. We have bank loans, hai, sponsorships. Hai, hai na? Okay, let's go ahead. Danda in a school. 
that's how we think that the teacher's role but danda is here the support system your administrative staff or this called non teaching staff your accountant okay mitra for a school the teachers are amatyas vendors like the stationery shop the uniform creator the person who drops you and picks you the the van transport one day the van doesn't come ask the mother so you see exactly unfortunately we are not even valuing librarians now librarians have become book issuers in fact in the british government a lot of things you can learn from him i don't appreciate them for what they did to india in fact they should be thankful for what we did to britain also give them a son in law but one thing they did definitely was respect books and librarians i don't know if you know this 19 uh, i think uh, 53 or something when bombay kolkata and madras university were created there were four high post it was not like this one two three a captain vice captain no four top post of course they had a name vice chancellor registrar finance officer very clear in the finance but the fourth one we have forgotten our generation librarian imagine look at the libraries in have you ever gone to london uk and seen those libraries thanks to the kolkata culture believe me we still love books and there are in few states in india otherwise we don't like to read britishers valued those people who kept knowledge americans took it from there by the way we library culture started from here knowledge systems I mean, libraries are different science. We'll talk about that some other time. So, if you look at it, the Saptanga model can be applied in so many places. In fact, we use this for event management. <laughs> huh? Event management. Look at all the volunteers here. Do you think you have a Swami? One person who takes the final decision. Do you have Amartya? Yes. Transport in charge, food in charge, venue in charge, isn't it? Jana pada? Logi nii aenge to? Durga? No problem. We are just changing the rooms. Kosha, somebody is sponsoring it. There's no free lunches. Danda, support system volunteers. Mitra, exactly. See, so now you're saying what I have shown you as an example is that every and please understand I have picked up only one sutra out of one book. One sutra from one book and explained so many last forty-five minutes. I've been talking about it. the whole idea is that this is how you interpret knowledge therefore i like to just stop with this last slide of course you know this i'll skip because i can take a whole class on amate itself this management there are so many sutras on that in fact we run this as a module in lot of universities so um, one pillar we can take for two hours this is one book and I'll, i'll skip all that i'll just stop with this slide Which give you some idea what to do forward, because this two-day conference and afterwards what? Bharat Mata ki je. Please understand, you have a role to play. What are the role? Number one, NEP 2020 when IKS is a advantage and a game changer. Today we require lot of new teachers and specialists and people who studied. So please, if you require a second career, IKS is for you. Formal, informal, right? I know people who started the second career after 65. You read about that mathematician who got this what a Nobel Prize at 102 years. Indian American. I don't remember the name, but the idea is that you know don't think that you know retirement is a very old concept of the industrial age. As long as you're healthy in body, mind, have a spiritual goal. Welcome to the club of teachers of IKS. Big advantage. Second. Uh, world is ready for a case. Are we? In fact, I've been traveling so much extensively. I'm getting oh my goodness. You know, these are some of the countries that we are working very closely with UK, US, Germany, Japan. But I realize one thing: a teacher doesn't create more students. He creates more teachers. So when people come to me, okay, can you come and teach? I said, listen, I got 37 teachers ready. Uh, you know, not only taught Artha Shastra, but created teachers of Artha Shastra. I give one example. One of my students, Pranav Patel, he is currently director at IIT Kharagpur. He is leading the institution there as head of the institution. What a pride for a teacher, right? 
Your students are in IIT as teachers. I never studied IIT. The idea is that this is Guru Sishya Parampara. You make your knowledge better with the next generation. Therefore, Gurudev used to always say, you know, I'll, my work will be known 50, 60 years after I am gone. But the institution that Chinmay Mission is, is not just about one person. Otherwise, we have seen, you know, one leader gone, institution also gone. But here is a teachers who create more teachers. They are not just glorifying the past, but bringing out the wisdom for modern day relevance. So, I will just like to stop with a quote which was given by Dr. Ajit Ranade when he released my book Corporate Chanakya at the Bombay University. He said, Chanakya's wisdom, Arthashastra's wisdom, in bracket Indian knowledge systems, is not of, you know, so Indian knowledge systems is not ancient, it is eternal. And look at these words. Have you heard about this word called Anvikshigi? Even I did not. Have you heard about this word called Vijigishu? Heard about Saptanga now? I discovered so many words. I am not even talking about one sutra or shloka. I am talking about one one words I am promoting now. In fact, when you were announcing, you could not... What is the Chanakya? What? Anvikshi, many people can't pronounce. But believe me, that is what Tejavaranji Guruji calls as Brahma Vidya. And Arthashastra starts by telling that if you want to create leaders, it will start with Anvikshigi. And it's such a beautiful word. I actually named my daughter Anvikshigi. That company's name is Anvi. It actually is Draupadi's name in Mahabharata. It's there in Bhagavad. But what a profound word we have forgotten. Vijigishu, world leader. So what I'm saying is that you take up one word. One word, I'm not even talking about one Shastra. It can open up a whole new world for you. But finally, remember one thing. Whichever system you take, finally, all the Rishis knew. It has to have a spiritual base. If you're teaching chemistry, Rasayana Shastra, great. But Yad Rakhna, without Adhyatma Shastra, Rasayana Shastra will not be helpful for you. Without Ayurveda, you know, never understand Vedas, but try to understand the knowledge part of it. So I say, be a spiritual person first, go to Indian knowledge system, and as you take the world towards a better place, make sure you are also getting better. Thank you so much. Hari Om.